Eric Jackson, the founder and president of EMJ Capital. He's with us live. I got to say, when I saw this note today, I said, what? Eric Jackson <laughs> likes many of the Kathy Wood names right here. I, I was sitting at my desk last Thursday morning, Scott, and things just got stupidly priced. Uh, I don't know if you recall. Um, I was looking at Oh, I recall. I, I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, if you asked me six months ago, I, you know, my, probably my biggest fear was, are some of these names actually going to trade down to the March 2020 pandemic lows? And we've gone way past that with, with uh, several of these names. We are now in a zone which is, for, for some of these companies that have been public for maybe six, seven years, they've never been as cheap as a public company as they are now. So yeah, for, for those names, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few, it's not, it's not across the board by tech, but for some of these growthier, smaller cap names, I think you have to start buying now. Wow. Uh, and let's go through some of these names because they are names that most people know and, and many who are listening to you right now may own. Let's talk Twilio. Why Twilio? Well, Twilio IPO'd in 2016 was sort of an IPO darling at the time. The, the CEO, Jeff Lawson, uh, was on the cover of Forbes. Stock went up like 5x in four months. And then they lost Uber as a, as a client. And they were Uber and WhatsApp were their two biggest clients at the time. And the stock got murdered. It got sent back down to below its IPO price and basically was in the doghouse for a year and a half. It was still a good company. It was, turned out that Uber made a, made a silly decision in getting rid of them. Um, but even in, in when they were in the doghouse, they, they were at 5x trailing price to sales, which is, for a SaaS company, super cheap. Um, they, they got even lower than that on, on, on last Thursday. So uh, that's a name that I, that I bought uh, then. Uh, it, it just shouldn't be that low. I don't care what the interest rates are. I don't care that, you know, the sky is falling. When you see prices like that, you have to be opportunistic. That's the, the key thing you just said in all of that. That's certainly one of the key lines was I bought it then last week. Um, you own right. these names right. that we're going to talk about. I want to be very clear right. to our viewers about that. This is not Eric Jackson coming on and just suggesting, hey, I like this name. It's come down a lot. You bought all these. You own them, including... Man, I mean, one that got absolutely destroyed is Upstart. Yeah. Yeah, Upstart uh, from 400 to, uh, I think it, the low last, uh, last week was $25. So the IPO price for Upstart, when nobody was paying attention to it in December of 2020, was $20. But it's a, obviously, it's a billion-dollar company now. It's a much bigger company than it was when an IPO. And it, it was a much cheaper company uh, last week when it was at 25 bucks. Uh, I don't care. They missed the quarter. They made a bunch of self-inflicted wounds. They they kept some loans on their balance sheet. They're still smart people. They're still all the reasons why this stock was a buy on the way up are still valid. Smart Google people. I've known the founder CEO for six plus years. He's a solid guy. They are going to figure this out, and it just shouldn't be trading where it is. You know, it was it was time to step in and buy them. I think the most controversial name on your list and what has become one of the most in the market itself is Carvana. Why Carvana now? Everyone loves to hate Carvana. It, <laughs> this stock is amazing. It went down 75% from last summer till the end of 2021. And then it's gone down another 20, uh, 75% this year. Um, everyone hates it. They think they, they can't make money. They, you know, A lot of people are, are as bearish on it as they were bearish on, on Tesla saying it's going to go bankrupt. The fact is, though, similar to Amazon back in the day, they've invested in a huge infrastructure for their used cars. They can, through that platform, they're going to sell more used cars in the future when they figure this out. They're going to sell new cars. They're going to sell uh, fleet management. Mm -hmm. They will be around. And, uh, you know, I want to make a point that's, that's very important. Everyone loves to compare um, all these names to the, the dot-com era, Scott. But it's important to remember that some of the names in the dot-com era that people back then would say, these are the junkiest. These, this is the Carvana. This is the Pets.com. This is the upstart of that time. They bottomed a, a year or two years before the NASDAQ or the S&P bottomed. NASDAQ and S&P didn't bottom. It was basically going down for three years straight. It didn't bottom till late 20, uh, 2002. Um, but many names did a nine-month you know, in the doghouse and bottomed mm -hmm. uh, late 2020. Um, Amazon basically bottomed uh, just after 9-11, a full year before the NASDAQ uh, did. Right. So you have to get into these names now, even if 
you know, everyone's screaming that the recession is coming and the market might not bottom for another year, year and a half. Uh, 